Inside the AHSAA, your weekly look inside Alabama High School Athletics, hosted by Luke Robinson. Brought to you by Coke, Alpha, Encore Rehabilitation, Edmondson Screen Printing, Wilson Sporting Goods, Russell Athletics, AL.com, and South Point Bank. Welcome to the Alabama High School Athletic Association's weekly update, heard exclusively on the AHSAA radio network. I'm Luke Robinson, and I'll be bringing you this week's top stories from the AHSAA. Thompson, Arab, and St. Clair County High Schools each won their first ever AHSAA State Wrestling Championship last weekend at the Von Braun Center in Huntsville. The Thompson Warriors outscored runner-up Hoover 154-144 to to capture the 6A title. Thompson, which began its current wrestling program just four years ago, captured the title with an exciting win by J.A. Jones in the 145-pound finals. He pinned Vestavia Hill's Jimmy Witt in the championship match to close out his season at 67-5. The pin also put defending state champ Hoover's hopes of winning a second straight crown out of reach. Coach Sean Weltson's Warriors finished fourth last season. Only two wrestlers reached the finals, but Jones' win by pin was all his team needed after finishing strong in the consolation rounds. Michael Jordan of Auburn, who is 43-0, decisioned Thompson's other finalist, Reed Jacks, who is 50-6. Buckhorn's Ben Smith also finished unbeaten at 58-0, closing the 125-pound championship match with a pin at the 342 mark over Josh Brown of Vestavia Hills. Eric Lee of Oxford, who is 65-0, edged Taylor Garlington of Hoover, who is 45-7, in a tough match 1-0. Jordan Simpson of Oxford finished at 68-1 at 130 pounds and won his second straight title with a 4-1 decision over Greg Adelona. Arab, which finished second last season, won its first state wrestling title with 137.5 points. Tallahassee was a close second at 125.5, followed by defending 5A state champs south side of Gadsden at 110. The Knights were led by state champs Blake Suttles and Kerry Pierce. MVP honors went to Scottsboro freshman Brandon Womack, who set a state record by going 74-0 and extending his current match win streak to 144 with a pin over Pinson Valley's Morgan Franks in the 112-pound finals. St. Clair County won its first 1A through 4A state championship with 110 points. Runner-up Dora had 97.5 and Oak Grove was third with 86.5. The Saints had two individual state champions, Chris Miller and Jerome Jefferson. Dylan Campbell of Oak Grove won his second straight title and had three pins along the way to win the Dylan Campbell of Oak Grove won his second straight title and had three pins along the way to earn the 215-pound state title and 1A through 4A MVP honors. Clay Dent of Piedmont finished 41-0 and won his second straight championship with a pin over Oak Grove's David Harmon at the 171-pound finals. When we come back, we'll take a look at the regional basketball competition that will send its winners to next week's Final 48 state championships. We'll be back with more Inside the AHSAA in just a moment. Style points don't show up in the box score. Talking a good game has never won a championship. And we're sorry to break it to you. It's not the shoes, it's the work, the pride, the blood, and the tears. Because Russell's wicking sweat out of the equation. Russell dry power, moisture, wicking tees and fleece. The next evolution in over 100 years of raw performance. The South and Central Regionals got a jump on the action by opening the AHSA's regional tournament play with four games each on Monday. At Montgomery Central Regional, Greensboro and Sumter County swept the boys and girls Class 3A semifinals. The Raiders downed Central Coosa 55-32 and Sumter County stopped Hanley 79-55 to advance to Thursday's Class 3A boys Central Regional Finals. In the girls games, Greensboro beat Leeds 54-26 and Sumter County, the defending Class 3A state champs, stopped Hanley 72-28. The Lady Raiders and Lady Wildcats will also play in the South Regional's Class 3A Finals Thursday night at Alabama State's Academe. The South Regional opened play at the Mitchell Center on the University of South Alabama's campus in Mobile Monday. Four 3A contests started that day. Geneva ousted T.R. Miller 51-41 and Montgomery Academy beat Abbeville 69-27. In the boys' games, Clark County toppled Luverne 
and Trinity Presbyterian defeated Abbeville. The four winners will play in the South 3A Finals Friday. The Northwest Regional, which began Tuesday, is being played at Wallace State Community College's Tom Drake Coliseum in Hansville. The Northeast Regional is being hosted by the Pete Matthews Coliseum on the campus of Jacksonville State University. All regional winners will advance to the Final 48 State Tournament at the Birmingham Jefferson Convention Complex March 1 through the 5th. Tickets can be purchased through the BJCC ticket office. After the final ball has flown and the final catch made and the last screaming fan has left the stadium, the ball is passed from one team member to the next so the players can sign their names. But of all the names, there is one on that ball that is perhaps the most important. That name is Wilson. Good luck this season. And finally, all spring sports are now in season with baseball, softball, soccer, golf, tennis, and track underway across the state. Get out and support your favorite school and your favorite sport. There are plenty of choices to choose from. Until next week, this is Luke Robinson saying thanks for joining us on Inside the AHSAA.